Okay, a small demo here to show you uh, the use of uh, a Wemos D1, which is a ESP8266 development board. And I want to show you how you can use this uh, development board to control um, appliances, remote equipment in your in your house, a so part of home automation. What we've got here as a preliminary setup is we have uh, Arduino Uno on the left hand side which is purely acting as a as a receiver uh, for the uh, signals RF signals and on the right hand side we've got the the WEMOS which is being used in a, a, a dual mode one is a Wi-Fi uh, transceiver and one as a 433 megahertz transmitter using these little transmitter modules here here's its corresponding receiver module and we are going to use some Wi-Fi signals sent from a Amazon Echo um, to control some Wi-Fi sockets like these. Uh, I have here on the left hand side I have the uh, Nano Arduino sketch which is purely the receiver. I have a COM port open, uh, serial COM port open on that uh, receiver so we can see the actual receive commands as they appear. And then we have the ESP8266 sketch running here. And we have the its serial window, which is going to show you uh, what commands are received by the Wi-Fi. So let's go and give this a go, power it up, and I'll show you, hopefully I can show you all the signals as they're coming and going. So first of all, we'll power up the, we'll just reset the 8266 so you can see it connecting to my home Wi-Fi. Let's focus that a bit so we can see. Okay, you can see it's connected to my hub and that's the IP address now of the ESP8266. I'm now going to use a handheld uh, transmitter for the sockets, um, for the socket outlets to show you what the received signals look like. We are then going to use the codes that are generated by this handheld uh, transmitter. We're going to copy those binary codes into our uh, transmission sketch so we can emulate this uh, remote without using the remote so we can use voice control instead. So I'm just going to show you now if I switch one of the sockets on, we can watch the receive window here. Okay, what we're seeing here is the actual uh, binary code. The binary code generated by the transmitter. Here's the actual decimal equivalent of it. We're going to use uh, these codes in our sketch to emulate uh, the data. Um, and we will see when we emulate those commands using the voice control from Echo, we shall see uh, what devices we are going to be switching on or off. So uh, I can actually say now to uh, the Amazon Echo, I'm going to say, Alexa, turn TV on. Okay. Okay, what we're seeing there is the uh, device in the sketch, which is being referred to as the TV, which is what I uh, used in my echo uh, voice command, and the state is on. What you can see here was the received, uh, the actual uh, when I transmitted that data by the RF, this was the actual received signal. I'm going to say now to, to turn the TV off and you will see an equivalent now turning the TV off. So let's first see it here. Alexa, turn TV on. 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 Alexa, turn
turn TV off. There's the okay. off command. And there in the third row, this was the command which was sent over the 433 megahertz receiver to, to actually switch my TV off. Basically what I'm doing there is talking to a socket outlet, which is switching the, uh, the relay off in the socket. What that looks like in practice in code, um, there are obviously two sketches running, one on the ESP here, which is doing uh, running two tasks. It's actually receiving the, uh, the Wi-Fi signals from the Amazon Echo. And then, with using the transmitter here, we are taking those commands, converting them in with a binary signal to send out to the socket outlets to switch them on and off. Basically, that's what the sketches are doing. Um, it can emulate uh, any commands which you can actually get the binary codes for. These 43, 433 MHz transmitters and receivers are typical for your garage remote control, blinds, etc. Um, they are freely available, extremely cheap on uh, eBay or Amazon. Um, I think I bought four pairs for less than five pounds. Um, very, very simple to set up. You can see the amount of wiring which is needed here. Basically, it's a power supply, which is uh, here and here and the data the data signal which the receiver is seeing which is sending it back onto the uh, arduino uno so we can display it on the screen the transmitter is also very 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 simple also a supply and the data out from the esp coming out on the data pin into the transmitter this long green wire is just acting as a an aerial so we can get a little bit better distance through walls etc drywalling um, but it does help. Uh, on the breadboard here, we have got nothing more than uh, just the normal uh, breadboard here. I've got an external power supply if needed because there was rumours that the ESP couldn't power uh, uh, the devices and enough transmission power for for the actual RF. But actually, mine works fine in a in a normal household. So that's. Basically what we, we have set up here, it can be expanded for any number of uh, devices, um, RF or Ethernet based, so we'll take it from there. Get your ESP. This were revision is the, is the first revision, revision 1 of the uh, D1 uh, Wemos board. There is a revision 2 out where the pin configuration is slightly different. Um, but basically you can program it the same using the Arduino IDE. Hope you enjoyed that.